What goes into that block? You see, these might be, this matrix might be, these matrices might be like 20 by 20 with blocks that are 10 by 10 to take the easy case where all the blocks are the same shape. And the point is that I could multiply those by blocks. And what goes in here? What's that, what's that, what's that block in the answer? A1, B1. That's a matrix times a matrix. It's the right size, 10 by 10. And any more? Plus, what's the, what, what, what else goes in there? A2, B3, right? It's just like block rows times block columns. I don't, uh, nobody, I think, not even Gauss, could see instantly that it works. But somehow, if we check it through, all five ways we're doing the same multiplications. So this, this familiar multiplication is what we're really doing when we do it by columns, by rows, by columns times rows, and by blocks. Okay, I just have to like get the rules straight for matrix multiplication. Okay. All right, I'm ready for the second topic, which is inverse. Okay, ready for inverse. And let me do it for square matrices first. Okay, so I've got a square matrix A. And and it may or may not have an inverse, right? Not all matrices have inverses. In fact, I, that's the most important question you can ask about the matrix is, if, it's square, if you know it's square, is it invertible or not? If it is invertible, then, then there is some other matrix, shall I call it A inverse? And what's the, what's, if A inverse exists? This is if, there's a big if here. If this matrix exists, and, a, and it'll be really central to figure out when does it exist. And then if it does exist, how would you find it? But what's the, what's the, the equation here that I haven't, uh, that I have to finish now? This matrix, if it exists, multiplies A and produces I, think, the identity. And actually there's a little more to it. Because normally, I mean that, right now that's like a left inverse. It's sitting on the left of A. But a real, an inverse it, for a square matrix could be on the right as well. So, it, so uh, this, is true too. That if, if I have a, yeah, in fact this is not, this is probably the, this is something that's not easy to prove, but it works. That a left, that for square matrices, a left inverse is also a right inverse. If I can find a matrix on the left, that gets the identity, then also that matrix on the right will produce that identity. For rectangular matrices, we'll see a left inverse that isn't a right inverse. In fact, the, the shapes wouldn't allow it. But for square matrices, the shapes allow it, and it happens. If A has an inverse. Okay, so give me some cases. Let's see. I. I hate to be negative here, but let's talk about the case with no inverse. So, so this is, this is, these matrices are called invertible or non-singular Those are the good ones. And we want to be able to identify how, if we're given a matrix, has it got an inverse? Can I talk about the singular case? Yes. 
no inverse. All right. Uh, best to start with an example. Tell me an example. Let, let's, let's get an example up here. Uh, let's make it two by two of a matrix that has not got an inverse. And let's see why. Let me, let me write one up. No inverse. Let's see, let's see what. Let me write up 1, 3, 2, 6. Why does that matrix have no inverse? You could, you could answer that various ways. Uh, give me one reason. Well, you could, if you know about determinants, which you're not supposed to, uh, you could take its determinant and you would get zero. Okay. Now, uh, all right. Let me, let me ask you other reasons. I mean, as for other reasons that that matrix isn't invertible. Here, I could use, use what I'm saying here. Suppose, uh, suppose A times some other matrix gave the identity. Why is that not possible? Because, oh yeah, tell me, I'm, I'm thinking about columns here. If I multiply this matrix A by some other matrix, then the, the, the result, what can you tell me about the column? They're all multiples of those columns, right? If I multiply A by another matrix, that the product has columns that come from those columns. So can I get the identity matrix? No way. The columns of the identity matrix, like one zero, it's not a combination of those columns because those two columns lie on the, both lie on the same line. Every combination is just going to be on that line, and I can't get one zero. So do you see, do you see that that sort of column picture of the matrix not being invertible? In fact, here's another reason. Oh, this is even a more important group. Well, how can I say more important? All those are important. This is another way to see it. A matrix has no inverse. Yeah, it, it, now, this is important. A matrix has no, a square matrix won't have an inverse if there's, if, if, no inverse because I can solve, I can find an x, a, a, a vector x, with a times, this a times x giving zero. That, this is the reason I like this. That matrix won't have an inverse. Can you, well, let me change I to U. So tell me a vector x that uh, solves ax equals zero. I mean, this is like the key equation. In mathematics, all the key equations have zero on the right-hand side. So what's the x? So tell me an x here. So now I'm going to put slip in the x that you tell me, and I'm going to get zero. What, what x would do that job? 3 and negative 1? Is that the one you picked or? Yeah. Or, or another? Or, well, if you pick 0 and 0, I'm not so excited, right? Because <laughs> that would always work. So it's, all, it's really the fact that this vector isn't 0 is important. It's a non-zero vector, and 3, negative 1 would do it. That just says 3 of this column minus 1 of that column is the 0 column. OK. So now I know that uh, A couldn't be invertible. What, what's, the, what's the reasoning? 
if, if AX is 0, suppose I multiply it by A inverse. Yeah, all right. well, here's the reason. Here, here, this is why this spells disaster for an inverse. A matrix can't have an inverse if some combination of the columns gives up, it gives nothing. Because I could take AX equals 0, I could multiply by A inverse, and what would I discover? 